Anker has a brand new backup power system that was just recently launched called the Anker Solex F3800. Let's take a look at this and see how it might be beneficial in times of power outages or blackouts, or even, get my shadow out of the way, <laughs> even for taking the ham shack off grid. Stick around. For a long time now, I've talked about taking my ham shack off grid. Let me step back into the sun where you can see me. And Anchor sent me this power station. They sent me an email and they're like, hey, we've seen some of the power station videos you've done. Would you like to do one on ours? And, <laughs> and they showed me the specs on this thing and I was like, wow, that thing looks really cool. I would love to be able to use it on, uh, on the ham shack or maybe even the RV trailer. Now, the first thing I noticed, the, the, it, it's on wheels, okay? So we've got, I'm trying to stay out of this, out of the shade as much as possible. So we've got wheels here. We've got feet on it right here to where you can, you can lay it down on the side and it's got a pop-up handle like that right there, which is really neat because it's got large wheels on the back. So these are all the cables that come with it. Set those aside for the moment there. So we can wheel it around like this. Okay. It is a very heavy unit. This is not something you're going to pick up and take with you to a campsite or something like that or you know have laying around and just grab and go type thing it just doesn't work it's not made for that this is made so that you can put it in a room or a home back up and just leave it there these it has these rotating casters on the front that lock down like that so we're it's a little bit harder to roll it around once you get it into place and it has this really good display on the front all right, I moved it, could not see the screen in the sun, which again, this is not made for outdoors. This is made for your home backup. You're gonna put this in a garage, in a closet. In this case, I'm gonna put it in the corner of the ham shack, probably underneath my desk. But if we hold the power button down for kind of a long time, really, it will come on there, it goes right there. The screen starts up 83%, okay. That's pretty good right there. You can see we've got three USB-C ports on the front, plus two. USB-A and blue, so uh, presumably those are quick charge 3.0. Little safety tip real quick. If you're going to install a generator or a solar system of some sort, maybe uh, solar panels, battery backup, something like that, you can't just plug that into your breaker box grid. It can cause problems with sending power back up the line. It can cause problems with the power company. It can be dangerous and it, you could actually kill somebody if it's really done improperly. So. Always check with a licensed provider to install what's called a transfer switch, which I'll show you here in a minute. Anytime you're wanting to plug in any type of backup power into your house, such as a generator, solar generator, battery backups, anything, uh, solar panels, anything like that at all. The company that ran the electricity when I had the ham shack built like 12 or 15 years ago, I'm gonna call them and see if they'll install a transfer switch in my ham shack for me because I already have a breaker box in the ham shack. They put that in originally. We ran a line from the house to the ham shack, breaker box, professionally installed and all that kind of good stuff. It's worked great ever since. I've had zero issues with it. So I'm gonna call that same company and get them to install the transfer switch. That'll be done in a different video. So when you have the transfer switch, it'll go in there. So this is an expansion to expand the battery capacity. This right here, it's called the F3800. It's 3,840 watt hours with a built-in 6,000 watt inverter. So you can plug 6,000 watt of appliances into it. It will scale up to 26.9 watt hours. Six expansion batteries in there. It'll do almost 30,000 watt hours of capacity. It's got 2,400 watts of solar input between these two, allowing for a charge of 80% in just about, about 1.5 hours, depending on sunlight. So 24, so you can do 1,200 watts into each of these, and that's a about 60 amps into each one of those, roughly, depending on what you're doing. So that's freaking rad. I mean, even if you used one of those, holy cow, if your power consumption at wherever you're plugging this into is low, you could probably get away with one of those. That is freaking awesome right there. So again, that's the, there's a car socket on here. I don't know why you would want, car socket, it's just a cigarette lighter adapter. So obviously you're not gonna be carrying this thing around your car probably. Here's the, um, the other side of it right here. Let me move it out of the sun. It has this specialized plug right here with the cable that I got. I'll show you in a minute. This goes to the transfer switch. So you're plugging into the house with the transfer switch. This looks like a um, standard 240 volt plug right there. 25 amp max, it says right there. These are, all, of course, your standard 120 volt. 20 amp max. Now, okay, that's impressive because most of your home plugs, like that one right there on the back side of my porch, most of them are probably 15 amps for outdoor plugs. Sometimes they're 20. 
Sometimes they're 15, sometimes they're 20. And the ones inside your home are usually either 10 or 15 amps. So the fact that this is a 20 amp plug makes it a really beefy outdoor, what would be a beefy outdoor plug on your home. So that's impressive. And there's six of those. That's great. That's the rest of it right there. But this is just a really neat system, man. Really appreciate Anker sending this to me because I'm going to have fun putting this together with the ham shack. This is the transfer switch that I got. It's from Reliance Con Controls. Again, you're, you're gonna, and it comes with this right here on top. Take particular care to attach the transfer switch red wires and load center circuit breakers. Please read the enclosed installation instructions very carefully. A transfer switch must be installed only by a qualified electrician with a thorough knowledge of all applicable electrical and building codes. That, that was on the top when I opened this box. And very, very important to, to uh, emphasize that too, because don't just go plugging stuff up to your house. You're gonna end up hurting yourself or somebody else. So there's a transfer switch. So in general, what you would do is you would, that's line means, uh, means your shore power. And then gen is presumably generator. Okay, so you, whether it's a solar or a gas power generator, generator, external generator. So you can have these off. You can have this right here. There's two 30 amp breakers, two 20 amp breakers, and a bunch of 15 amp breakers right here. So you can turn these off and on. You can put some on the shore power and some on the generator power. Keep your, two, keep your 240 volt stuff on, uh, on shore power and put all your 100, oops, <laughs> can put all your 120 volt stuff on generator power if you wanna do it like that, depending on how big your battery capacity is. As you add battery capacity to that thing over time, you could obviously uh, add more of these to the generator power over the line power. But look at this really beefy cable. This sucker, that is probably like a, I don't know, triple aught gauge, maybe quadruple aught gauge cable. This is the part that goes into the side of, of the uh, F3800 right there. And then this sucker goes into the transfer switch. It comes with this little, oops, it comes with this plug right here that where this goes. This is gonna be a fun project. I'm really looking forward to it. Again, special thanks to Anchor for sending me this. I've called the, electric, the electrician company and talked to them about what I want. Uh, they're gonna get me scheduled soon, but I have to wait on them. So that's why it's not happening yet. Anchor Solex will provide a special offer to everyone watching this video and my viewers for this unit, the F3800 and its bundle using an exclusive discount code, which you can find in the description of this video. Check out all the specials they're running. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of this. If you uh, plan to uh, do some sort of battery backup system on your own home, stay tuned for more videos about this very thing. Hamshack going off grid 73.